<laughs> it smells like chemical. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. We have Robin James with me today. Hello James Wells. Hello. We've been meaning to collab for a very long time. It must be better, we've never done this. No, we should have done a year ago. But today is the day and we were talking and a lot of our subscribers um, want to know about products that we use, in particular hair products, mm -hmm. brands that we like, brands that we, we don't, don't like, like, products that we have used, products that we haven't used. Products we'll never use again. And never use again. And Robin was mentioning that he has a massive box. <laughs> I've got a huge box. <laughs> Full of products. Um, and we thought we'd check them out today. Mm -hmm. But before we check out that, this is of course a collaboration video. And we have a video over on Robin's channel. So make sure you check that out. It'll be in the description box down below and a card, whatever side it's on. There. So make sure you check that out. <laughs> I have got several boxes, but I've got one with pre-styled products, okay. I've got one with styling products, and I've got one with finishing products. Oh my Jesus. What do you want? I've just literally organized everything. Let me get the pre-styled one put get, here, get and we'll few, get the main let's one. Let's put them in order, yeah, yeah. Pre-stylers! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna watch you struggle, I will help. That's after a clear out. So obviously we get sent a lot of products, we buy a lot of products, um, and some of them are really good. Yeah. And some of them are just... Bad. Not so good, mm -hmm. shall we say. If you're ready, we're gonna be honest and go through the best and the worst of some hair products. What would you like me to start on? Pick one that I think you think we've both used, because sure. by the looks of like it, I think there's a few that we've both... Yeah. One of my favorite brands, and mm. if you guys know my YouTube channel, then I always talk about Aveda thickening tonic. <laughs> I've never used a Veda. This is amazing. So basically my hair is very fine, it's very flyaway, you've got lots of hair, it's very mm. thick. I need something to instantly plump it before I style it, and this is absolutely one of my favorite nice, products. Because I know Aveda do amazing, amazing Give hair that a sniff. Stuff. All organic, really great. They do skincare as well, right? Yes, yeah. they do. Aveda is amazing. But it's gonna be thicker than that. Yeah. No. You <laughs> you pop that in your hair and you activate it with a hairdryer. But it plumps. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> clean that <laughs> Just clean that up. Um, Love that. I need to use Aveda. I've never used Aveda hair stuff, but I use hair skincare all the time. I will put you in touch. Thanks, Robin. Oh, fudge. Um, yeah. And yeah. What do you think? So, what do you think of this? Nah. Really? Yeah, I don't like this. So, I used it very early on in my YouTube days. And yeah. I did a whole tutorial on it, and I liked it. But there are better versions yeah, of a. Absolutely. Yeah. I used it in the early days. Mm. It's like a dry, dry matte hairspray. So it's kind of like a finishing, but yeah. you can also use it as a bit of a texture. Like a styling, yeah, yeah. They always smell amazing, I should say. Yeah, they fudge. do smell. That whole range from fudge smell incredible. Yeah. Oh. What do you think of this? This is the Label M Brunette Texturizing Volume Spray. Yes. Yeah. Have you used that? I have. So what I like to do with this mm. is, if you're a guy who's thinning or you've got very fine hair, you can literally use it to fill in the blanks. <gasps> Interesting. It's like Photoshop for hair, so yeah. you can fix it. They've also got a really great dry shampoo. Yes, that's and also that they is do good for and... volume. Mm. Yeah, and again, it will fill in sort of the gaps. I love pretty much all of Label M. Yes, I do too. Like my the all time, paste. the matte paste is my favorite yeah, product of all time. And I always say it to these guys yes. as well, like it's my must have everything. Label M products do what they say on the tin, which is, Agreed. sounds stupid, but like they, they're just good. I mean, I could go through all these, but should we move on to like Let's styling? Let's move on to the main ones, because there exciting. are a lot here, a lot of brands that you guys have asked me about that I've never used. And that's the thing, if you guys haven't checked out Robin's channel, if you don't know who Robin is still, oh, <laughs> um, I'm Robin. his reviews are, uh, so good, so good. Like he goes through everything. Are we just gonna tip it out? Yeah, do you want me to? Yeah, go for it. Should we start with the VO5 matte yes. clay? I like it. I don't mind VO5, I think that's a new one. I don't mind VO5, I think in terms of a high street budget like brand, yeah, great. Would it be my go-to as a guy who can <laughs> afford slightly more? Uh, no, probably not. But no, I think that's... I think it's fine. Yeah, again, I think that's why I like it, kind of like in the lush way that I'm I'm surprised at how good it is for its for where it's yeah. from and how much it was. It's like, it's good. It's very decent. Mm -hmm. I believe it was always second place. So whenever I did like a best budget yeah. hair, like yeah, testing yeah, yeah. thing, VO5 was always second yeah. place. It was never quite 100%. percent but... put it back in the box, love. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tidying as we go. Ooh. Yes, not used it yet. Decent. Keels. Moderate to average. Mm. They have also got a clay. Is that that it? Yeah. yeah, I love that. Do you like it? I loved it, yeah. 
It was really good. Um, but I get, I, I was surprised that Kiehl's did hair products. I didn't know they Relaunch. did. Relaunch. So Kiehl's ah. used to do men's hair products. Okay. They discontinued and then they brought it back last year. Right. By Villain or by Villain, what do you think of these products? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not <laughs> laughing enough. <laughs> so initially, I, my hair's so flat. Initially, I really liked them. Mm -hmm. um, the more, like whenever people ask me about them now, I'm like, not so much. It. Start to I start to see a lot of hair coming out. I feel like they don't last long as well. They harden up very very quick, mm -hmm. and I would just reach for other products over it all the time. I did a review on Sidekick, mm. um, which is one of the pre-selling products, and I <laughs> really, really did not like that product. Yeah, I remember. Um, yeah. It just wasn't great. Um, yeah. I actually got asked to take that video down. Which I think is ridiculous. I think that's insane. And that's the thing, like, Robin does... Did I? No. no. Robin does very honest reviews, which, you know, everyone... And I would say that is... It's honest. It's not... I'm not going out to... Hurt people. Hurt people. <laughs> yeah. Upset people. Also, these are not people. These are products. Products. Yeah. And if you create a great product, I will say. Mm -hmm. If you create a shoddy piece of whatever, you then say. I will say. Yeah. So one thing I've just seen is Dax Wax. Mm. Do you use this? No, not no. at all. <laughs> I, I like... have got this in case I do a, a, a series called yeah. Brand Battle mm -hmm. and this will come up at some point. One of my old friends was a punk and he would use this in his hair to keep his mm. mohawk up. Um, and it would be in his hair for days. He wouldn't be able to remove it for days. But maybe I shouldn't go into it too much if you're going to do a Brand Battle one. The only way you can really get this out of your hair is washing up liquid. Right. So, so it strips grease and oil, it. yeah. So Lockhart's is a brand I get asked about a lot, but I have no experience with. So I please, love Lockhart's. You know what, James? More. I have two. So take this. <gasps> Thank you. Lockhart's Mac Clay. I love the Lockhart's. I love them as people, Ooh. Steve and Nicole Lockhart. Mm. Um, but they have got um, US company, they're independent, they're home brewers. The one I've just given you mm. to take home is the Mac Clay. It's so good. Thanks for this. It's really, really good. Yeah, I've always wanted to try their stuff and I always get asked about it. And I've got their moustache wax in right now. Uh, the hold on that is incredible. It's got a heavy hold. Absolutely insane. <laughs> oh my God, that smells insane. What's that one? The one of the Lockhart. Oh, it smells like Christmas. Christmas! Uh, uh, so, Morris Motley is yeah. one I get asked about all yeah. the time and I've never used. Please, tell us, tell us. I would love to tell you about Morris mm. Motley. This is their treatment styling balm. This is the treatment styling balm. I got into this as a result of Jordan Bryan. Jordan O'Brien, Jordan Bryan. Jordan Bryan um, was like, oh, I love this. You should try it. So I, I did. Mm. But anyway, I really like it. It's, uh, it is firm and matte, as they say. It smells <laughs> really <I'm terrified>. good. <laughs> no, but it does smell really good. Okay, can also, I? It's really hard, I'm yeah. going to hold it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool, yeah, I like that. That it sounds good. Amazing. It does mm. smell amazing. What do they mean by treatment? Do you know what? I've got no, no fucking idea. clue. It's just a hair product. I'm right. like, it's not a treatment balm. Right. It's just, oh my god, my leg. A lot of products that have natural products in say they're a treatment because it does good for your hair. It does good for your hair. Oh yeah, it's like when they say they're hair masks. Mm. You're not a hair mask, good you're, right. a, you're a hair styling product. product. Um, but I do really like this. It is firm, it's matte, it holds, it's, uh, it's, for me, who wants a boost, it's good. Yeah. Like it works well with other ones. They've also got this other one called Chrome, which, surprisingly. That's one I've heard of. I've never used. So we can't, I feel like we can't do this video without talking about. Oh, Blue Morn. Blue Morn. Let's chat fish. 